right guys, so it is currently the next day, or no, it's kind of hard to explain. So at the airport, we went to, to the airport in Mexico City at, um, what, what time was it? I think we got there at 12. I think we got there at like 12 or 12.30, and then we finally got to the house at 3.30 in the morning. Now this is 12.30 in the afternoon until 3.30 in the morning. It took us so long to get all our baggage claimed and then like go over to customs and go through all that. The planes that we got on, they were all delayed. The first one, not by so much. But then the next one was, it was like, oh my, holy crap, it was so late. Like, we got there, and when we got there, that we were confused because it said that the flight was going to um, LA. So I was like, well, this is wrong, we're not in the right spot, and me and my dad, my brother, we were like, this probably isn't the right gate. So we asked, and they said, yeah, but it's for later. Which means we were we got there when a whole different flight was not even there because there was people waiting for that flight. So we had to wait for that flight, and then when our flight came, they said it had to be even longer because they had to wait for everybody to get off and then you know restock and all that, refuel that kind of thing. The people behind us, like not right behind us, but they were behind us. They were just so loud, like they just would not stop talking the entire flight. They were being obnoxious. They were loud. It was so annoying, and I saw the people around me. They kept looking back to see, like when, she, when the one girl started laughing. Like I didn't know her name, you know. I didn't, I didn't know who it was. I was, I'm just saying it was obnoxious. Like if you're gonna go on a flight at like 10, 10, 10 at night, and then you know it's like it's like a three-hour flight, so we didn't get there till like one. Um, how are you gonna be that loud and annoying? There's people that like are tired. They're trying to get home. They're trying to, you know, rest a little bit. People fall asleep on planes. I, well, actually, I didn't fall asleep on this plane. I fell asleep on every other flight, but not this one. Not the point. It was just so annoying. It, it, I just didn't like. I just didn't like it. I mean, like, ugh. I, I, out of all the planes I've flown, which isn't that many to be fair, but I have never like really experienced like rude people like that. Mm. So yeah, we're at, we're at home now. Um, I unpacked my stuff. I still have a lot of cleaning to do. A lot of stuff that I need to do. Uh, my my skin is peeling, actually. So that's pretty much it. Um, don't know what else to say. See you in a bit. <laughs>